What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I am joined by my lovely boyfriend, John from ARTV, and it is his first time. He finally lost his virginity of seeing 21 Pilots live. They robbed me of my V card in the best way possible and I paid money for them to do it. This was actually my seventh time seeing 21 Pilots and I know seven sounds like a lot, and he was actually kind of curious, why do I keep wanting to go see them live if I've seen them so many times? First of all, I never saw any of their new material from Trench Play live, so I had to witness that. Also, they are just that good live, and I had to prove it to him. I by bring him along in the pit. We had pit tickets. We did have pit tickets, and I don't know what I expected. Like, I don't know why I had, like, not mediocre expectations, but you just expect, like, a concert. I'm thinking, like, oh, it's the pit. Like, I don't know. Maybe Maybe we're gonna be far back. I'm telling you guys, this is something that you have to witness live. This is not just a show, it's an event. So like I said, we had pit tickets. I don't know how I was able to obtain those when I was buying tickets months ago. I think it was like the last fall or something, but I'm really grateful we did because that is the best way to experience 21 Pilots live in my opinion. Fully agree. If we had been in the seats, I no disrespect to anybody who was in the seats, yeah, but I course. just feel like for me, being on the floor there and witnessing all of that and all of the shenanigans, all of the moving around, the fact there's that they're so out in the crowd on, so yeah. much, there's constantly, like you told me, there's always something to attract the ear and the eye. That's the best thing about 21 Pilots, their live show, you know, there's only two of them and they're able to use the entire venue. You're constantly engaged when you're seeing them live. They're, you're just never bored, you know? Sometimes you see a band, even one that you really like and they play a really long set as long as theirs, which they played over two hours. Sometimes you're kind of like, all right, like this is going on for a while. I'm kind of getting tired of standing here. Uh, when's it gonna end? Yeah, I didn't feel that. You do not think I that. Because we were moving time. around. like the the crowd right. kept shifting because one moment Tyler is up on stage, the next moment he's falling through a trap door and he's bang up like up in, the in, in the rafters somewhere. <laughs> and then they have a stage behind the actual stage, like in the back of the, the actual pit, pit yeah. which we pretty much got a front row seat pretty for, much. which blew my mind. I was like, holy shit, this dude's like two feet away from exactly. me right now. They right. played the entirety of Trench. Did I, not see that one coming. Didn't either, and they didn't play it in order, of course. But I'm not but mad about it. No, I'm not either. It was nice to see those songs come to life, and obviously they stirred in some of the hits from Vessel and Blurry Face mm -hmm. too. In the past, I've actually tried to see T.O.P. a few times. It didn't work out. I was supposed to go in 2015. That was going to be my first time. That was during the Blurry Face cycle. I've been a fan since 2012, so like right around when Vessel came out. And I've always wanted to see them live. I've heard great things. So I don't know why I kept modest expectations. I think that I just do that naturally to protect myself these days. To not so that, be let down. To not be <laughs> let down because I've been let down so many times in my life. But as soon as they opened up the set, they played Jumpsuit first, which makes that sense. That was sick. It, it, it's the opening track to Trench and they've got the burning car transitioning oh. from like Heavy Dirty Soul, which I wish they had played that live. Oh, I but wish they did they, too. If they had opened with that and gone in the jumpsuit, it would have been incredible. Yeah. But they worked in the burning car, of the set piece, into a couple of the songs. The pyrotechnics were awesome. Just from the second that they started laying down those yeah. opening bass riffs, like I knew that we were in for a treat. And it kept going from there because they played Levitate. And then even the live version of Fairly Local right. really surprised me. I'm not a big fan of that me track. Me either. But, but hearing it in the way that they pulled off that trick live where he oh. moved from falling through the trap door. I know it was a stunt double going up to like on stage. It just, I hadn't seen these cool live performances. It's such a illusion. And I think it's something that again, you don't really expect. Right. And even if you aren't a huge fan of Fairly Local, uh, it's still so sick to see him come out in the mask, perform that. You don't really know who he is. Like, you know who he is, yeah, but, like, but you can't see him. And it's right. just kind of like a mystery. And then he appears up in the seats and he takes off the mask and everyone's just like going insane. You don't really know how to react. You're just like, what? I remember right. you turned to me and you're like, <laughs> yeah, like, exactly. Because you, you don't know <laughs> what to the floor. you don't know what to think in the moment. I'm so glad, kind of, that I didn't really look up live performances. Yeah, I told you not to. And I didn't. I, over the years, I hadn't really looked up that many to spoil the set. I think the main ones that I had seen were like award show performances and to, stuff. Like, bigger songs. So I knew that they had a big stage presence, but the set design, the set list, 
the way that they interacted with the crowd and everything, yeah. it was unreal. They had moving pieces. I mean, they literally had like, I don't even want to call it a catwalk. It's like a right. glass box came down from the ceiling that he could walk across. <laughs> walks all the way across the pit, goes to the second stage in the back, oh, and just so like cool. that, we're front row suddenly for a 21 Pilots concert, and they're playing like Neon Gravestones, which was one of my favorite songs on Trench. Yeah. Oh my god, Neon fucking Gravestones. Oh my god, I can't believe this. Yeah, I really enjoyed the little uh, B stage set, which was a bunch of trench songs. Uh, he played um, what's it Smithereens. called? Smithereens, which yeah. I thought I did not see that one coming. I hadn't looked at the set list before. Yeah, I hadn't either. So I didn't really expect that, but I thought it was really cute. He yeah. obviously dedicated that to his wife, and it was just I can't even explain it. It was so cool to be that close. Like you'll see in the clips, we were literally feet away, like probably two people in front of us. Oh yeah, right yeah. to the stage. We we're third row there, and when he was walking over too, I mean. You he's think about right it, he's above like, us. I'd be like, if you fell right now, you'd probably fall on me. And yeah. some people would have been okay with that. Yeah, I would. But there were just so many surprises throughout the set. You know, yeah. the B stage was really cool. Obviously, Josh joined him. And yeah. I just, even the effects over there, they had like smoke and cool lights and Yeah, lasers. the dangling lights there that came so down and everything. There was so much going on. Like, yeah. literally the entire arena is being utilized by these right. two guys. They have right. no other backup band or anything. Hey, shout out to their stage crew. They, right. gave, they gave them a shout out on stage. But seriously, to put all that together, the production, I'm talking confetti, pyrotechnics, multiple Lasers. Stages, lasers, light show, Just the background everything. Video graphics. The backdrops were insane. I mean, some of my favorites were like for chlorine because I was dying yeah, to see that, that live. So cool. That one looked so cool. The rising stages that mm -hmm. they had, just elevating, and they would go up really high. I just, I really liked that Tyler Joseph was such a frontman. You know what I mean by yeah. that? Like a lot He's of passion. Really come into yeah. himself. Yeah. Because I've seen them in the past. Obviously, I've luckily I've been able to see them kind of at every phase of their career. Right. And in the beginning, you know, they were very like more shy i little guess laid it back. just kind of it was more like a like little family show but now yeah. that they're playing to these massive crowds they kind of have to come out of their shell more but they and know think, how to do it yeah and he's yeah. really done that and succeeded there like i remember he said one thing i think it was towards the end of the set he even said to the crowd like i'm not just on autopilot right now like i'm right. here with you You're like this raleigh, is raleigh north show. carolina this yeah. is our, yeah it was like, it was very cool <laughs> love that there's just all ages at their shows now. It used to be kind of more of a niche band, like kind of teenagers, young adults, but it's literally all ages. We saw like people in Older their people, like, 60s like 60s or 50s. Yeah. We've seen little kids. You see people our age. Teenagers, of course, is probably the majority, but it really, they really do like appeal to everyone. Right. To kind of round this out, I figured it would be appropriate that we both talk about our favorites from the entire performance. I mean, there were definitely oh. a lot, a lot of moments <laughs> that stood out. I think both of us agree that the hype was a big one. Oh that yeah, we really, I was always looking yeah. forward to hearing this one live because I always just thought it sounded good. Perfect. Sing along, good sing yeah, along. It's, it's got that Oasis chorus. type melody to it, For like sure. I already talked about once. But I also really dug Chlorine because that I've been was dying. One of my that was I've been dying to see that one, and I love that song. It's been on repeat since the album came Same. out. I also love the throwback cuts, like Holding On To You, it's fantastic, Oh, that was one of, of my course. favorites. That one's just always so much fun live, because he does yeah. come into the crowd for the beginning part, and yes. it's just one of my favorites. Yeah, and them. Speaking of 
crowd interaction, Morph was a really yes. good one. And that, that one, one, they had the little drum kit that everybody's like having to hold up and you know, yeah, Josh, Josh is out there. It says, Josh done, done not, not done. done. They put that up on screen. I just yeah. thought that was so cool. And then Josh Dunn, after that performance, after he gets done in the crowd, decides to throw his drumsticks out, right? Well, right next to us, if I had been paying attention- It was like right in front of I us. I could have <laughs> caught that drumstick if I hadn't been looking straight ahead at the actual stage, yeah. but it landed just over here. I'm really tall. I've got a long, long reach. They <laughs> well, call not me. long enough. But this drumstick lands right next to us, and these two girls grab it. I guess I shouldn't call one a girl. One was like an older they woman. They weren't even like girls. They, they were, were older. young adult age. I would say one in their 20s, one in their 40s, and they <laughs> both grabbed the drumstick and went to the floor. <laughs> one girl's like sitting on her but like, like this and the other girls like on, on her the side floor, the one like, the ladies on her side like they're both like grasping for it and, and then the this, one lady's like give it to me I mean, drop yeah. it hand it over the like, younger one was like that demanding it i'm like jesus christ like, and she said something about like i couldn't hear it exactly because music's going obviously but she said something to the extent of like going to the death for this and oh then the lady God. like let go the poor old man that got involved in this i'm so sorry sir he said why don't we just flip a coin for <laughs> it and i <laughs> actually interjected because they were not neither of them were letting go so i was like oh i'll just take it off your hand <laughs> like i literally Hannah literally to tries it. to reach in there and get it <laughs> i didn't know. they were on the floor right next but to it was, us it was really funny. honestly i probably could have grabbed it out but i'm not gonna be that guy <laughs> and i think it's safe to say honestly when you're at this show it doesn't even feel like multiple songs. It feels like one big performance. Yeah, just keeps it just going. Is. It's a grand performance. It just never ends. A very theatrical. Um, some of the other moments that really stood out to me were like Heathens. I really liked in that because yeah. you know you got the watch it and like it pops off mm -hmm. there, especially in the he second half of the song. He started that one on the piano, yeah. kind of eerily. It was, it was nice. Really it was nice. A little spotlight on him there. Uh, Legend was cool to see live. Yeah, that for was sure. a nice little dedication. He gave a little dedication to his grandpa there, which was a nice moment. Obviously, Nico was great. You really liked Lane Boy. I mean, Lane we both Boy, did. Yeah, but. Lane Boy is always a lot of fun because they make everyone kneel down and then jump up, and it's yeah. just a lot of when fun. When that beat like pops yeah. off, but they but will they be alive tomorrow? And then that part, so fun, mm, so good. And then obviously my final one that I have to mention, Car Radio, just Car because. Radio, for sure. Oh my God, what a tearjerker! Not like at the concert, but you know, just in general, yeah. that song means a lot to me. So it was really good to see that finally. in a live setting, finally. And then towards the end of the set, they kind of start to wind things down and they came out and did a uh, truce right before the ending. And I always really love this song. They just kind of played it on screen. I don't even know if they were actually yeah. playing it or just playing no, the music. No, they, I think they were just, and everybody was singing. And that they yeah. played the music for it so everyone in the crowd can sing along to it. And I thought that was really beautiful and move moving, yeah. uh, just cause it says stay alive, stay alive for me. And uh, then obviously they finish with trees Yep, yep. And that's just like the big finale, honestly. Chlorine, leave the city, <laughs> and then trees. And then obviously they come out of the crowd for that part. I'd seen your clips before of yeah. that. Like the, all the confetti going crazy and stuff and just... I mean, what an epic way to finish an epic it was, show, it's right? It's funny, because like, there was so much confetti, I could barely even see them at the end. The pictures yeah. I took of them, like you it's could just barely confetti. make them out. I'm like, Jesus. <laughs> but yeah, they come out, and the crowd is holding both of them up Again. on their drums while they drum together, and mm -hmm. the, everyone's just singing. It's really a blast at the end. I'm so glad that I went, honestly. I'm glad you did too. Um, I told you, I told you so. Literally right at the end when they finished, you turned to me and we were both like, wow. Yeah, <laughs> like, wow. whoa. Wow. I was like, let me collect myself before we talk <laughs> about that. But it was, no, it was really good. But that awkward moment though, when we both buy the same shirt, Look oh. at us. Did you even notice when we showed you know, up to wardrobe today before this on set? You know what? This is my video, so. And it's like you're the one who has the problem. And who called dad? Uh, I almost said who called dabs. <laughs> I thought you were going to say who called dad. <laughs> no, we both got the same shirt and I called dibs on it. But then well, Hannah was like, what? well, my birthday, my birthday. I didn't say anything about my birthday. You did. No, I didn't. I said, I don't really like any other shirts. And if we're waiting in this long ass line, which literally it was, was very going long. on, I couldn't even find the end of the line. That's how big the lines were. And I was like, if I'm going to wait this long, I might as well get one. And I wanted to get this one. And at first I was like, fine, I won't get the same one. But I really wanted it, damn it. But yeah, that's basically our experience at the Bandito Tour for 21 Pilots. 
like I said, we highly recommend that you guys go check out this tour if you can. If not, just see them at some point in the future, even if it's at a festival or something. Yeah, I'm I was sure just going to say that. I'm even sure at they're going to deliver. Yeah. Because yeah. they really care about their live shows and they clearly put the effort in, so you do not want to miss out. And if you have been to this tour, let us know your experience down in the comment section below. And I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure to leave a like while you are here. And if you're new to my channel, subscribe for more music related content. Go and don't forget to, to don't forget to ring that damn bell or I will show up at your house, ring your damn bell and ask you why you haven't rang the bell yet because you know you want to get notified when Hannah uploads. Wow, thank you. That's actually the first time I've ever plugged the bell. Yeah, I've it never exists. said ring the bell before. It's so a thing. I you rarely... better go ring the damn bell because I don't upload very often, but when I do, you don't want to miss it. Like your phone's going to like just erupt when she uploads, basically. It's just going to explode like the Samsung Galaxies. <laughs> okay, well now they're not going to ring that bell. <laughs>